All right, everybody, welcome. It's uh, Friday morning. Friday morning here. It's the day after Thanksgiving in the United States of America. This is the first morning blog today. And um, uh, I hope that if you celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday that you're stuffed, you're fatter, you're more disgusting, hopefully you got sick. And you recognize the stupidity that you put yourself through. I, I pray that with all my heart. I don't care if you're my friend or you're not my friend. I think the fact that you would celebrate a day like that, you deserve to get sick. You deserve to go broke. You deserve to uh, have a really shitty weekend. And I, I pray nothing less than that for you. Okay? That goes for all my friends and family. Now let's get on with... Uh... <laughs> my dogs are ridiculous. Let's get on with today. I got a few a few things I want to go over with you because of some of the questions that keep coming up. One of the things I'm I'm continuously asked is um, how do, how do you make okay? Let, let me give you an example. Okay, so so here's here's a question that happens. It's like I'm I'm 19 years old and uh, you know I'm living with my parents and they want me to go to college. They want me to do this. They want me to do that. But I don't really want to. I want to live my life. Okay, another one is, uh, you know, I've been going to school for a while, or I'm at this job, and um, I don't really want to do it, but how do you, how do you tell people, or how do you stand up for yourself, or whatever, okay? It's, I, I have an answer for you, and I want you to, to, to pay close attention to what I'm saying, because you're going to fall into one of two categories in your life. Either A, you are an adult, and I don't mean just by age. First, by age. If you're by age an adult, you should watch my videos. If you're not, you should go watch some other shit. So we're going to assume you're an adult watching this, okay? There's no way I could monitor that, so we're going to assume you're an adult. But if you're an adult by age, then comes the other side. You have to be an adult by your responsibility level. So if somebody is telling me, how do you tell the, your family, your friends, that you want to do something, how do you tell them that? How do you stand up for yourself? I'm going to tell you something. By virtue of the fact that you can't do that, by the fact that you're still asking permission, you shouldn't do that. You don't deserve that life. If you have to ask permission, you're still a fucking child. You're still a kid, so you should be treated like a fucking kid. I speak to adults, to people who make their own decisions. If you're in a shitty fucking relationship and you can't get out because you don't know how to tell you, then you deserve to be in a shitty relationship. If you have to ask somebody else for permission for what you're doing, then you're not an adult. You are not an adult. There's a difference if you want suggestions than permission. Hey! Enough! Jesus, fucking dogs are going crazy over here. So, no, kissing me doesn't make it fucking better. Go over there and lay down. Um, think about Think about if you are in the frame of mind where you have to ask permission, then you are by, by that very same position, not in a position to make decisions. You're not. You're not. And, I, and I'm not here to give the whole fucking world free range to do whatever the fuck they want to do because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. I believe responsibility for the responsible, not for the irresponsible. Okay, so the, the question is the answer. This is an old, old, old saying that if you understand will completely reverse the way you look at shit. The question is the answer. You're asking me, how do I tell my parents I'm 19, I want to go to school, uh, you know, I don't want to do that profession or I'm at this job and I hate it, how do I leave? You shouldn't leave and you should do exactly what your parents say because you're still a fucking kid. Because obviously you're still a fucking kid. Do you see the way I look? Do you think this is acceptable in the Persian community? Do you know that I've had to fight my parents every fucking day of my life to look like this? Still do? But guess what? It's my fucking life. It's my life. I'm an intelligent human being. An adult. I research life. I study I have value to the world, and the last thing I need is for any motherfucker to tell me how I can look, how I can't look, what I can say, what I can't say, what I should do, and what I shouldn't do. And motherfucker, if you want me to believe you, you better bring some understanding and not some bullshit. You better 
Help me understand why you're saying that. Not because you're older. It's not good enough that you're older. The older generation gave me this shitty generation. We're in the condition we are because the older generation didn't do their fucking job. Give me a fucking break. You're not in the position... You're not in the position to quit school or quit your job or quit your relationships if you have to ask permission. You should stay in those positions, okay? You deserve it. You deserve the fucking condition you're in. Simple. Got that? Got that? Do I sound fucking angry? Wouldn't you be if you were fucking getting 50 to 55 fucking emails a day and 20 of them were asking the same stupid shit? And I'm like, are we living on the same fucking planet? Am I walking the street with the same fucking morons? Are you kidding me? You have to ask permission about your life? Yet you want to be respected? As an adult, you're not an adult. You're afraid of conflict. You're afraid of someone saying, I don't approve. Well, I don't fucking approve. It's number one. The dogs chilled the fuck out. That's good. That's good. Secondly, it was my status on Facebook today. If you're not following me on Facebook and Twitter, you should fucking get on it. Although my Twitter hasn't been really working recently. But anyways, um, I want you to do this today. This is your task today. As things happen to you today, I want you to just shift one, shift one thing in your mind. It's, 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 just, it's just the way you talk to yourself. If you said, this happened to you, there's one, that's one interpretation. One, one sensation goes through the body and the mind. This happened to you. And if you just take the word two, T-O, and you replace it with the word four, this happened for you, what are you going to do with it? Someone breaks up with you in a relationship, that happened to you. Whoa, poor you. Someone breaks up with you in a relationship, this happened for you. Oh, really? There's, there's an opportunity there. It's just one word in the way you talk to yourself, and it makes a complete difference on the interpretation of what you're of 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 living, in the interpretation of the energy that you see. Nothing today is going to happen to you. Everything today is going to happen for you. I want you to think with that. Nothing today is going to happen to you. Everything is going to happen for you. And you just try that on today for size. You don't, you don't have to fucking hold on to it tomorrow if it didn't work for you. Just try it on. Anything that comes up today, say, this happened for me today. And, and just look at it for a while. This happened for me. What am, I, what am I supposed to do with this thing that just happened for me? What am I supposed to learn from it? What are the opportunities that are hidden in this thing that just happened? See, there's an opportunity that's hidden in it. It might take a lot of, um, it might take a lot of focus to see it. Uh, okay, well, so what? Focus then. People have, people think that life is supposed to be some easy breezy living. It's not. It's got its ups. It's got its downs. It's got its, you know, good and it's got its bad. That's the yin and the yang, the up and down, right? The two polarities. That's another alchemy law. You guys keep asking me about alchemy. Seven laws of alchemy. Study them. Two polarities, right? Everything in life has two polarities, but they're the two poles of the same thing. They're the two poles of the same thing. When can you tell when hot and cold on your temperature? When is it cold? When is it hot? Right? Think about that. They're both, as it gets hotter and gets colder, they're both part of what's called temperature. We, we label hot and cold, but what's hot, what's cold? Well, it's hotter, it's colder. It's in relative terms, right? Polarities. You're welcome on that one. You're welcome on fucking breaking that one down for you quickly. So law of polarity is they're both the same thing. The two poles are between, the, the two poles in between is what you're looking at, and the two poles are describing the same phenomenon. They're not separate. Hot and cold are not separate phenomenons. Up and down are not separate. Taoism talks about this. Lao Tzu. High and low rest on each other, right? Um, sound and silence depend on each other. Okay? All right. Let's recap. Let's recap. One. Uh, if you can't make a decision for yourself, then, then don't, even, don't even ask me how. You don't deserve to make a decision for yourself. You're still a kid. Fucking suck your thumb and do what people tell you and you don't deserve your freedom. Period. Okay? Done. If you deserve it, stop asking permission. Live your life. Okay? And you're going to be opposed, but welcome to planet Earth. Welcome to the condition of society. You'll be opposed. Anything you fucking stand up for. That's it. So you might as well stand up for something. 
Okay? And two, nothing's happening to you today. Things are happening for you today. Just that little bit of shift in awareness, a little bit of a shift in the way you view things should make all the difference. It's not what happened to you, it's what happened for you. Got it? Bam. That's a good one. Bam, bam, bam. It's not what happened to you, it's what happened for you. And then another thing uh, that I should just I should just acknowledge, because when you see how I deal with this, it'll give you the strength to deal with it in your own life. Okay? I get a lot of fan mail and... I don't know. The word fan mail is kind of weird to me, but, but, but it is. I, appreci- I get a lot... Okay, that's a better word. I get a lot of appreciation mail. People are appreciating the knowledge, saving them, it's helping them, and shit like that, right? And every once in a while, like once every couple of days, somebody has to come in and say something negative. But when they say something negative to me, because they've been watching my videos, they say it very cautiously. So it has a hint. <laughs> it has a hint of um, helpfulness behind it. But I'm too fucking smart, and I know way too much to fall for that bullshit. So I'll give you an example. I don't know the exact wording of it, but you know the motherfuckers watching this video uh, commented something, something to the order of this. I may not remember exactly. You can see the comment on my fuck haters video. And he's like, there's always someone more badass than you and, you know, Bill Gates, see how much he helped people. And I'm like reading the comment, like, what, what, what is he saying? Like, what is he saying? Is he like giving me advice? Like, is that what's happening? Am I, am I getting advice from that fucking little chump? So I read it and I'm like, well, first of all, <clears throat> I didn't ask for your advice. So save it, bitch. And I want you to think with that. Are you going around knocking, asking people for their advice? Or are they just walking around like, well, let me tell you. No, how about you don't? How about you don't? How about I never asked for you? Okay? And people are like, well, no one asked for your advice, Arash. Well, I'll get off the fucking channel then. Right? And yes, people do ask for my advice. And they're the ones watching. But I'm like, what? okay, wise owl. Why don't you make a fucking YouTube channel and start spitting your knowledge then, since you're so fucking wise, but why don't you get off my fucking channel? Go fuck yourself. And I tell them, I say, I always give them one chance. Unless they come very rude, then I just fucking block them. But I say, you're about to be, you're about to be blocked from the channel, dude. It's the same for you. I'm not here to take advice from you, fucking chump. Get the fuck out of here. There's always someone more badass than you. Oh, okay. And, and think about that, right? People might come to you if you're a pretty girl, well... You know, you need to have more than your looks. Okay, bitch. Thank you, fucking, fucking encyclopedia, fucking uh, wise human being. Thank you, old Wizard of Oz. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Nobody asked for your fucking advice. I was living my life. I didn't, didn't ask for your... Did I come to you and say, hey, I have a question. What do you think about that? What the fuck gives you the right to fucking walk around and spit out your fucking shitty advice that you can't even use for yourself? So anyways, that's how I deal with them. Be able to see, be able to see, the, the distinguish when people are genuinely trying to help you. Like genuinely, their intention is to help you. There's a difference. Or when they're trying to shut you up and they pretend like they're trying to help you by shutting you up. Man, that's some sneaky shit, man. Now, if you have the courage to put yourself in the public eye, if you have the courage to put yourself in the public eye, get behind a fucking camera like this, put your shit out, then be ready for people to talk. That comes with the territory. But, the people that do shit like this, get out there and their knowledge, get out their philosophy, put themselves out there. Don't say the same cliche bullshit so everyone agrees. Happy Thanksgiving. Fuck your Thanksgiving. How's that one? <laughs> then they then they have a certain level of protection. They don't need to deal with that bullshit critic, right? You don't need to deal with that bullshit critic, and you don't need to deal with that shit. So you fall, if you fall in those categories, I have a lot of artists that follow me, I have a lot of like uh, athletes that follow me, a lot of uh, leaders in their own right, right? These people are, are um, significant in their, in their groups. I have influential people are following me and listening to me and stuff. 
and they get that a lot because it's sneaky. It's like you know, it's like if somebody, it's like if somebody in your congregation, if you're a pastor, comes to you and is like you know, you know, Father, I really enjoyed your sermon. However, I didn't really like when you... I got it, young lad. You could have got up and left. And I didn't ask for your advice. And if you have something better to preach, get on the pulpit yourself and preach. But don't come into my church and say that shit to me. Okay? Because I never asked you to come. Get the fuck out of here. And that's how your life has to be. That's how your life has to be. This is the power that you hold. You hold the power of your own communication lines. You decide who can communicate to you and who can't communicate to you. You got it? I'm going to keep this short so I can do another video for you later, hopefully. All right? Keep the comments coming. Spread the word. All right? Spread the word. Let them know what's up. All right? See you on the next video. Peace.